A massive earthquake could strike sooner than we think, and scientists around the world are raising the alarm. Recent research and seismic activity are pointing towards some unsettling trends along major fault lines, especially in areas like the Cascadia Subduction Zone and the San Andreas Fault in California. The signs are becoming harder to ignore. A rise in small tremors, subtle ground deformations, and mounting tectonic pressure suggest that a major seismic event could be building up beneath our feet. While earthquakes are a natural part of our planet's dynamics, the possibility of a massive one hitting a densely populated area is a serious concern. So today, we're diving deep into the science behind this warning. What's causing it, where it's likely to happen, and what you can do to prepare. To understand the risk, we need to take a closer look at tectonic plates. These giant slabs of the Earth's crust are constantly in motion, slowly shifting over time. Where these plates meet, we find fault lines, zones of high stress where earthquakes commonly occur. When two plates grind against each other, pressure builds up. If that pressure isn't released gradually through small tremors, it eventually gives way in a sudden, powerful quake. This is what scientists fear may be happening now. In the Pacific Northwest, the Cascadia subduction zone stretches from Northern California all the way up to British Columbia. It's a sleeping giant, capable of producing magnitude 9 earthquakes and tsunamis that could devastate coastal regions. It last ruptured in the year 1700, and geological records suggest that such megaquakes occur every 300 to 600 years. That means, statistically, we're due. The signs are subtle, but telling. Over the past year, seismologists have recorded swarms of micro-earthquakes, small, often unfelt tremors, that indicate stress building along the fault. These microquakes can sometimes act as precursors to larger events. In some areas, GPS monitoring has detected the slow creeping of land, hinting at deformation deep underground. Other regions are experiencing what's known as episodic tremor and slip events, slow, silent earthquakes that may relieve pressure in some areas but transfer it elsewhere. Together, these patterns form a growing body of evidence that tectonic forces are gearing up for a major release. Meanwhile, the San Andreas Fault in California, one of the most closely watched fault lines in the world, is also showing signs of strain. Experts warn that the southern section of the fault, which hasn't ruptured since 1857, is locked and loaded. That means it's accumulating stress, but hasn't released it in over 160 years. Considering its history, that's unusual and worrying. A rupture here could result in a catastrophic earthquake that affects millions of people across Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and surrounding regions. Infrastructure, highways, water systems, and power grids could be severely impacted. And with limited warning before such a quake strikes, preparation is key. It's important to clarify that no one can predict exactly when or where a major earthquake will occur. Earthquake prediction remains one of the biggest challenges in geoscience. However, scientists use historical data, modern sensors, and sophisticated computer models to assess probabilities and risk levels. The consensus among experts is that the odds of a major earthquake in the western United States, particularly in the Cascadia or San Andreas regions, are higher now than they've been in recent decades. And it's not just the U.S. in other parts of the world, including parts of Asia and South America. Similar signs are emerging. Earthquakes are global phenomena, and the lessons we learn from one region can help us prepare worldwide. So, what can be done? The first step is awareness. Knowing the risk allows individuals and communities to take action. Emergency preparedness is crucial. This includes having an earthquake kit with water, food, a flashlight, first aid supplies, and important documents. Families should have a communication plan and know what to do if the ground starts shaking. 
Schools and workplaces should conduct regular earthquake drills. On a larger scale, cities in high-risk areas need to invest in earthquake-resistant infrastructure, early warning systems, and public education campaigns. Japan, for example, has made significant progress in this area, and their approach serves as a model for other countries. Technology also plays a vital role. Networks of seismometers and GPS sensors are constantly monitoring ground movement in real time. Some regions now have early warning systems that can send alerts seconds before shaking begins. Those few seconds can be enough to shut down gas lines, pause trains, or allow people to take cover. Continued funding for these systems is essential. Scientists also emphasize the importance of updating building codes to ensure that new construction can withstand strong shaking. Retrofitting older buildings, especially schools and hospitals, is another high priority. These efforts can save lives and reduce economic damage when the next big quake hits. It's human nature to put off preparing for something that might not happen tomorrow. But when it comes to earthquakes, the question isn't if, it's when. History has shown us the devastation these natural events can cause. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in Japan killed over 15,000 people and caused a nuclear disaster. The 2004 Indian Ocean quake triggered a tsunami that claimed more than 230,000 lives. These events serve as stark reminders that when the Earth moves, the impact can be global. Yet with the right planning and investment, we can lessen the damage and save lives. In the end, staying informed is our best defense. By listening to the experts, understanding the risks, and preparing accordingly, we can face the future with greater confidence. Scientists aren't trying to spread fear. They're sharing facts and urging action. We all share a responsibility to be ready. So, whether you live near a fault line or not, take a moment today to check your emergency kit, learn your evacuation routes, and talk to your family about earthquake safety. That small effort now could make all the difference when the ground starts to shake. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who needs to hear this. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on science, safety, and natural phenomena. Until next time, stay safe, stay prepared, and take care.